to a more finger style thing. Uh, it is just very cool that you can press a button, you have a new sound, you don't have to turn around in the middle of a concert and try to finger all the buttons. switch which means you can actually play a song and in the middle of the song you can switch your sound this is amazingly cool uh, and what is also very cool is it's actually extremely easy to use because normally I know for me as a bass player I really don't want to get too much into the technical details or it does not it can't be too hard then I'm off but this is actually very easy you choose a preset I'm gonna take preset 3, there's three possible presets here. Uh, you choose a preset and then you you mess around with the sound you, until you find a, a sound that you like. And then you just hold the button in until 
it blinks two times, then you start your preset. Another very cool thing here is the compressor. Normally, I never use a compressor for a, a live uh, from an amp because uh, I always think that I can't make it work. Uh, I can't make the sound good and I think it kills what I'm doing. This compressor, however, is really good sounding. It's a three band compressor, which means that it compresses uh, there's each a compressor on the high end, on the mid end, and the low end. And uh, that means it does not kill like the bottom or the top of the sound. It just gives you more edge and um, yeah, tightens it up. Like here's the sound without the compressor. And I'm gonna add the compressor. It does not kill the sound. I find that it sharpens it up and tightens it up and uh, make it sound better. Wow. There is uh, this extra little thing, uh, which is called tube tone, which means you can add distortion. And it can be like a little bit just to give the sound a bit of flavor, just a little edge, a little crunch, uh, which I put actually on my the preset I made for finger style. Uh, I added a little bit of a uh, of tune just to uh, but you can also really use it as an effect have some really that's cool too like now I just messed around with the with my sound, but I just press my preset button and I'm back uh, to the bass. We have like the normal tone controls, the bass, the low mid, the high mid, the treble, and then uh, you can choose to add the compressor, uh, the, uh, the tube, and really make your own presets. There is a headphone uh, in, and there's in the back, in the back side, there's a input for an MP3 or a, a CD player, whatever you want, which means that you can actually bring the amp uh, and rehearse with the music and the headphones. You can hear yourself, you can hear the music, and it is very easy to carry around. It's not so big, it's not heavy. It's really, this makes sense to have headphones in this. Also, a studio quality DI. Uh, or uh, XLR out, so you can also bring it to your studio. You can. This is very convenient, and uh, uh, you're not gonna get uh, lesser quality. And uh, you know, it's it's a good quality for life, so it's not. Uh, you know, you can actually use it. So what is left is just. I just want to talk a little bit about the the stacks here. Normally, if you play four tens, and they come in like a four ten cabinet. You put it on the floor, you get all your low end, but you can't really hear yourself. You lack the definition. So what most people do, and myself, is we put it up. And then we can hear ourselves, but the low end kind of lacks. So it's, this is a, uh, well, you just uh, have to accept that. But, but with this, uh, you actually have the low end and you have the definition. So you hear yourself uh, with the sound you want completely. Very cool.